Hi guys, it's Adam, and today is the last video of of the basics of PictoBlox tutorial. So after this video, next week I'm gonna start talking about games and how to make some. And I will only make one game for now. So it is up to you to tell me what games do you want me to make in the comments down below. Okay, let's get started with our last and final little category, operators. So, operators is like control. It manages the game for like sensing about um, mathematics. Let's say we have the basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And in the first blank, most people put down up variables or soundness or timer. So we can say um, we want to make a simple game where when we move the character, it goes faster. You can easily do that by making a variable. And I will, and sadly, I will have to talk about this in the next video. Or I think in a platform or video in the future. Sorry, but I should not reveal previews. Okay. Pick random. We'll pick a random number from the selected 1 to 10. Any number between or one of them. So, 1. We have 10. We have 10 again. 4. 10. 9. Okay. Now, we have the 3... Math, I don't think most of you kids know this a lot, but it's sort of like the alligator you learn. Is this number or variable bigger than the thing we say? Or is slot 1 smaller than slot 2? Here means they need to be equal, which currently it's 0. Oh, and if you put a blank, it means zero. But over here in the booleans, it means nothing. In the dark green. And, or, and not. And means both of these need to be true. So you can activate the true word. So now it says false. Because not this or this is true. They both need to be true, so it will allow. And now we have or, which is basically and in a second version. It it only needs slot 1 or slot 2 to be um, true so that it will allow the code. Now, not is the opposite of something. Like, not um, if um, we could do a small little experiment. Not... 50 or a variable equals 50. It is false. And now if we write 54, which is 4 more, it will say true. Because 54 is not 50. So basically here it will say false. Here it will say true. So it is basically the opposite of the current Boolean's answer. Join letter and length are joining two things together like hi and welcome to my project and if we click it it will say the same thing we have text now you see here it says hi and then there's not a space because we did not add a space over here Okay, now we fixed it. Of Apple is it will tell us the first letter of this word. So letter one of Apple is A. Now the length of Apple will tell us how long it is. So currently Apple is five letters long. Let's see if it will be correct or not. It is correct. Now, con Apple contains A. 
means does the apple contain the letter A? True. Now, I will not be explaining mod today because I don't really know about it and I never use it. Now, here is something that you should notice with the round. It does not tell you round how many. So the default, it is round by ones. So if we say one point like 23, is it lower than 50? No, so it will be one. So it will only round the decimals. Now, here we have a very absolutely big list of words like squared, sine, cosine, and a lot of others. And today we will be explaining the ABS, absolute. Now, if you type in a positive number like 2, it will say exactly 2. Now, you will wonder why it says 2. You see, absolute means only negative numbers are allowed to be in here, like 23. It will make it positive. Same thing if you go back up into the minus and make a 0 minus any random number like 234, they will become negative. Okay, guys, thank you for watching my video. Hope you have a good time and see you next time.